All right, Scotty. K&R Racing, Jet Racing on the side of that. Scotty, there you go, bud. Hey, another good run tonight. That car is generally very fast. A uh, couple different drivers have won in it this year. Uh, it seemed like you kept it very smooth and got through the lap traffic as well. That's the main thing you got to do with these uh, street stocks. Oh, sorry, pure stocks. I did that last time too. But yeah, you just got to keep them straight, keep them smooth and steady. You know, as soon as you get it sideways, you lose momentum and that's how it is. So I guess that's too many years of racing. I probably sh tell Bobby I shouldn't be racing his car, but you know, <laughs> that's all right. It's uh, a lot of fun. All right. Congratulations. Your winner tonight, Scotty Martin in the Bobby Russell, number 38. Congratulations on your win tonight. Yeah, oh, they want him on the backside for the pitchers. So again, Joshua Ali, John Lee, high flying photos in the house tonight. Go coming out of turn number four. There we go. Sean Burns immediately to the top side on the outside. That is a fast car here at CMS. Couple of feature wins this year. Curlis, though, side by side with them and they get together. Curlis hangs on to it. So Burns, Curlis, McCarr, Russ Wood, and Dakota Earls, your top five right now. Good run by Dakota Earls last night at Lakeside Speedway, but right now, Burns, your race leader. So Sean Burns. Still pretty much everybody on that low side. I haven't seen anybody venture to the top yet. We'll see later on here as things start to work in through that low side. Everybody looking for that moisture down there, trying to get some grip. As I see Curlis McCarr, Wood, Dakota Earls, Kit Bailey, but right now Sean Burns. Burns your race leader as he starts to stretch that lead out now. Just about a straightaway lead here on lap number four. So, I'm sorry, four laps in. Just eight remain. So, Sean Burns, Curlis, McCarr now trying to put some pressure on Curlis for that second spot. Wonder in the one D-E-R, he pulls off on the backside. Jesse Johnson there in the 81 out of Warsaw. Sean Burns, your race leader, does a lot of work with the Noah's Bandage Project. Great charity organization that Sean works with. So Burns, your leader, the battle's back here. Let's see if McCarr can work his way around Curlis. So far, has not been able to. As now Burns, right in front of him, Johnson goes around in the 81. Just in front of your race leader, Sean Burns. Could have been a disaster there. But Burns, right. Seven laps completed, just five remain for Sean Burns. Let's see if he can hold him off. He dives down in there. Here comes McCarr now. McCarr to the hot top side. Gets a good run up out of turn number two. As Burns and Curlis get together on that restart. Burns now out of, out of the bottom side. Here comes McCarr. Steven, I was waiting for somebody to jump up to that top side. Gets a good run up there. Now all of a sudden, Bailey says, hey, if you can do it, I can do it too. Steven McCarr, look at that good run on the top side. Side by side coming out of turn number four. Good battle between your top two right now. Here comes Steven McCarr getting some up there on the top side. But Burns gets some good grip out of turn two. Comes down that back stretch. Just couple of the laps here remain. White flag coming up right here for Burns. McCarr to this outside. Curlis now Kit Bailey gets by the 15 of Earls into the top five. White flag in the air. Can Burns hang on? McCarr, Curlis, Bailey. 
And again, back to your leaders as they come around turn number four. This will be his third feature win here. Sean Burns in the 28. The four of McCarr, the 33 of Curlis, the 77 of Bailey, the 15 of Dakota Earls, Bobby Russwood, Leland Quint, and Jesse Johnson. Congratulations to Sean Burns, his third win. Feature win here at Central Missouri Speedway. It's out of the car, Sean Burns, your winner tonight. Way to go, Sean. Yeah. All right, Sean, come on up here. Another good run tonight, Sean. Got a little bit of a challenge here from McCarr on that, that restart. He went a little bit high and uh, a little bit of fender damage there on the back. But I tell you what, good run here again tonight. Yeah, it's just good hard racing. Uh, they're all getting better. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's a tough place to... Uh, it was different tonight. It was really good down in one and two and slick in three and four. So you kind of had to figure out how to... Yeah, it was, it was odd, but it was great racing surface, great facility. Um, just glad to be here. All right, we appreciate you having here again. Three feature wins, Sean Burns. We talked with Sean. Uh, also, he's tied in with the Noah's Bandage Project. Great organization. If you, if you don't know anything about that, do a little bit of research on that. Here we go. Dylan all the way up to the top. So David, Jeff Rafferty, but Dad's in the lead right now. Dylan just behind him. Jeff on that low side. And that's Nathan Wolf, turn number four. BB in the zero three goes around. James BB, David, Dylan, Jeff Rafferty, Nathan Wolf. Titan Crump as they come into turn number four. We'll give them one more to go here as they got the lineups. All right, lights are out. Understand Kelly Bergstrom just hanging back there a little bit on the backside. And here we go. Now watch Dylan. He will just jump down to that low side. He gets great grip out of turn number two. Gets right next to his dad now. He does the same thing in three and four this time. But David on the high side stays in front of him. Let's see if dad has anything for him tonight. Jeff Rafferty right behind Dylan. Then it's Nathan Wolf, Jesse Wright in the 67. Don Danner, the 171. Still dad, so dad and son right here at the front, David and Dylan. Jeff Rafferty, that's David's brother, the 64. In behind them, a bunch of cars coming up through the field. Still David Rafferty, Dylan with patience. He really gets good grip out of one and two. Down on that low side, there he goes. You can see at that time, as dad's starting to just creep back just a little bit here, but David, still your race leader here early. First five laps. Then Dylan, Jeff Rafferty, Nathan Wolf, Jesse Wright, Donnie Danner, Travis Alexander, Michael Rafferty, Titan, Titan Crump, and Justin Rafferty. Here comes Dylan now. Still David scored as the leader. You can definitely see the high and low line with these two cars, but Dylan just creeping just in front of his dad there. The shorter way around the track, your new leader, Dylan, on lap number seven. So just 13 remain. So Dylan, David, your top two. Turn three, another spinner down here. Looks like BB again. That'll finish his night. First, Tyler Farrell and Justin Rafferty, your top 10. Green flag in the air, here we go. Dylan now jumps to the top side. He said, hey, Dad was having some luck up there. I'm gonna stay up on the top. Don Danner now up into fourth now as he goes to the top side as well. 
So Danner, that is another fast car, that 171. Don Danner moving up now. So it's Dylan, David, and Jeff Rafferty. Dylan Rafferty, oh, Michael in the 41 goes around, just about gets into his cousin, Justin Rafferty. Saw the two car. So under Jesse Wright. And here we go, single file restart to the cone. No passing until you get past. So Dad goes up to the top side again. Dylan down low. Dylan and Jeff Rafferty. I see Danner now in the 171 going up high. Let's see if Don Danner can move up another spot here as he gets right next to Jeff Rafferty. So Dylan, David, Jeff Rafferty, Danner, Nathan Wolf, the 36 of Alexander, right in the 67, Justin Rafferty. This will be eight to go this time across. Dylan Rafferty. These guys are trying to figure a way to beat this young man, but he has just been tough here at CMS this year. Got to give him credit. Comes each and every week, competes. So Dylan, David Rafferty, Jeff, and again, Danner, the 171, the Nathan Wolf in the three. Travis Alexander in the 36 car. This will be five to go this time across for Dylan Rafferty. Now Don Danner in a battle for third. Let's watch Danner there on the low side out of one and two. Jeff Rafferty trying to hold on, hold him off on that spot. Good battle there as Dylan Rafferty. Just a handful of laps remain. Goes by this time, just three to go. So Dylan get into some lap traffic. Kelly Vale in the 12V. Josh Guy in the two just in front of him. See a low line and a high line right now. The battle's for third, though. Jeff Rafferty and Don Danner. 98 and a 171. White flag will come out next time across for your leaders. There's where your race is right now. And then Alexander right behind Nathan Wolf in that three car. But Dylan Rafferty brings out the white flag this time across. Dylan comes down out of turn number two, down through that back stretch. As he comes down the front side, the double checkers come out. Dylan Rafferty here is 11th feature win this year. There's the 64. David, oh, right at the tail. It was Donnie Danner for third in the 171. Jeff Rafferty, Nathan Wolf, Travis Alexander, Justin Rafferty, Just Jesse White, Kevin White, Michael Rafferty, Tyler Farrell. So good battle. Up front, Dylan Rafferty, your winner again tonight. There you go, Dylan. Another good run tonight. Dad put on a uh, clinic there at the beginning. He was up on the top, but you stuck to that low side. You seem to get real good grip out of turn number two and can really make it happen. Yeah, I was just trying to stick the bottom because he had the top covered, and then I went up and tried the top, and I just kept getting tight, so I just started running every groove on the track. Hopefully some word work. All right, great run this year. Another good uh, win here tonight, 11 feature wins. So congratulations again tonight, Dylan Rafferty. Thank you. As he will join at the tail end of the field here again, it's Richards and Staus.
So Richards to the front of the pack here as he leads Staus into three and four. Don Mars goes up to the top. Wetzel there in the 10W, and then it's Royalty. Oh, those three cars almost together. Three wide coming down the back stretch. Royalty on the low. That's Wetzel. Mars goes up to the top there with Streeter in the 61 as they go almost sideways. But Jake Richards, your leader here. Jake Richards. Get a few laps in the books now. So Richards, Staus, Royalty, your top three. Then it's Don Mars. So I can see low and high lines now. Watch the 12 see a Clancy. He made this work a couple of weeks ago. All the way up on the top as Hoiser in the 15 pulls off. So Richards now starting to pull away with Staus. Here comes the 49 as we have another yellow here. With some debris down here on the front stretch. Two laps in. Got a ways to go yet with 18 remaining. See if we can get some green flag racing going here. With Richards, now here comes Royalty on the low side. Gets right next to Staus. Here comes Royalty on the low side. Gets a good bite down there. Three wide down the front stretch. Don Mars on top. Staus, here comes Streeter now in the 61 up high. Ebert, the 94, just behind him. Three wide with Clancy on the high. Side the 10 of Wetzel and then the 14 of Grindstaff down low. So back to your leader now. As we have makings go around here in turn number four, problem also the 99 of Noker. Looks like a problem on the tail end of the 99 of Noker. Staus. Then it's Ebert and Clancy. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Four laps in. Richards royalty. Mars back up to the top. Three and four wide throughout the field. And Makings goes around again. The 42. His night will be done. Racing in with your b -mods. Richards brings them down. So Richards, royalty. Jacob Ebert gets a nose in on Chad Staus. And the C3 takes that spot away. Looks like he's going to work his way up into the top five. As I see several cars jumping up to that top side now. Streeter Clancy. Are two of them, Ryan Eddy in the 15 as well. Now watch for Ebert, though. He's using the low side and turns both on the hub in one and two and three and four. So you've got a top line and a low line working right now. Ebert making it work up the fourth now. So Richard starting to pull away. Royalty, Streeter, Ebert. Nine of Don Mars bouncing up off the top side there as well. Right now, Richards with a 16.3 time to a 16.5 to Royalty. So Richards, two-tenths faster. Right now, they're trying to find some speed on that top side of the track, though. You can see them up there searching. Meanwhile, Ebert says, I'll stay down low. I got my setup down here. I'm in fourth right now, trying to stay as close as I can to your points leader, the 7J at Jake Richards. Here comes Clancy now. He drops back down to the low side. See these guy drivers searching for some kind of grip. Moisture on the track. Don Mars behind the 12 of Clancy. Back to your leader. Comes out of turn number four, Jake Richards. So we're done past halfway now, so just nine remain. Get some green flag racing in here. Come up on some lap traffic now, so keep an eye on this for Jake Richards now. Some slower cars in front of him. Gets the blue and yellow. So Richards now next to pulling there in the 08. 
Scott Pullen. And then it's Ken McDonald in the 25 just in front of them now. So Richard's getting slowed up here a little. Here comes, as we get another caution comes out that time after a good green flag run in turn number two. Tyler Wood there, I think, in the seventh. He was in 14th place at the time. So there was a good green flag run. So just seven remain. Seven remain here. Richards out of turn number four. Here we go. Immediately a couple of cars jump up at the top and two, including royalty, says I'm not going to beat you down low, so I got to do something different. Meanwhile, Ebert sticking to his plan on the low side. Richards says, ah, which way do I go? Top or low? He diamonds up, comes back down. Oh, and we have another car go around. Looks like Caleb Bray. So Caleb in the 19 car gets into. Here we go as they come around turn number four. Richards leads them down. Jake Richards. Strong run this year from Jake Richards. See if he can hang on for the remainder of the race here. Five remain. Problem on the 21 there for Phillips. He keeps racing. Must be a problem as he's starting to slow down there on the 21 of Phillips. Jake Richards. That's watch as they come around turn number four. You got a slow car just in front of him. Royalty sees him, Streeter sees him, so he gets by, gets up on the hot pit lane. Meanwhile, Royalty closing in on your leader. Just three laps remain. Richards, this will be two to go this time, I believe, two to go. White flag comes out this next time across your race leader, Jake Richards. Richards low, Royalty up high in the 49. Streeter gets, moves up to that spot again, up into third. Ebert down on the low side. Stephen Clancy, your top five. White flag out for Jake Richards. So Richards, Royalty, Streeter, Ebert down low. He's hanging in with his game plan down there. Ryan Eddy just behind them as the double checkers come out. He gets a run on the top side. Watch for him. No! It's the seven of Richards, the 49 of royalty up to the top. Gets squeezed up there. The 61 of Streeter. Ebert at the 94. Clancy. Then it's Eddy, Mars, Staus, Grindstaff, and Lyle. Wow. They're fast. Yance. Lawn care, landscaping, nitro lubricants, fast lane engine, Jake Richards. There you go, Jake. Exciting feature finish there as royalty got that run on the high side. You guys get together down here on the front stretch. Yeah, I uh, honestly, I didn't have no clue he was up there. I would have given him some room, actually. Um, I got to thank Chris Littrell. Last night, we dropped a valve in this motor right here, ruined a piston. He picked it up at 6 a.m. this morning, put a new piston, all new valves, did the machine work, and fixed this motor. We put it in at 545 and got here at 7 o'clock to run tonight because he wanted me to stay in the battle for the championship. So if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be standing here. I wouldn't even be here tonight. All right. Great, great work. I know you had that problem last night. Glad that you were able to get out. Maintain your points lead here. It's really tight with you and uh, Jacob Ebert up at the top. Yeah, I got to thank Kent, Jason, and my wife. Um, my buddy Paul, he's back. Well, he's in Knoxville tonight, but he helped get everything ready for last night. So if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. All right, congratulations, your winner, Jake Richards. laps tonight for your street stalkers. Here we go. Central Missouri Speedway stock cars. The Boomer. John Brooks all-time feature leader 
with 94 feature wins. Wouldn't it be special to see him win? But right now it's Frazon in the 04. Got all these shark chassis up at the front. That's Mark Carter's car. He's in the second row outside right now. So Frazon, Brooks, Wood. Carter, here comes a 45 of Aaron Poe. That's another shark chassis up there. 67, Devin Irvin, right behind them. See if we see somebody jump up to this top side right now. With Frazon, your leader. As Poe gets something in there, problem as they slow down back on the back stretch. Here it is with Michael Mullins, the M20, and Jason Park in the 170. Here's the Delaware double restart with Frazon on the front. Here we go. Cody Frazon. As he leads him down into three and four, John the Boomer Brooks. Many time track champion here in street stocks. Also raced a B-Mod as well. So Frazon now starts to pull away from the field a little here. Frazon and the 04 Brooks Carter. Aaron Poe now and the seven of Brett Wood. Brett Brett Wood in that seven machine. As your current points leader, Nathan Vaughn, not here tonight. 04, Frazon. Seems like he has a great setup here tonight. The battle here for second now as Mark Carter goes up high, gets around Brooks. Aaron Poe down low, two and three wide. Oh, and Brooks. So, Carter, the 10 car, the 27 of Brooks, the 7 of Brett Wood. I did so. Let's see how it goes. Frazon. So, Frazon, Poe. Campbell, and now the 11X of Jerry Schmidt, Jimmy Go in the 60 car. Oh, and Jester in the 50 machine goes around. No place. 51 of Jester goes around. Again, the night done for Mullins. As he pulls off, here comes Frazon. Back to green flag racing again. So Frazon. Poe now putting some pressure on your leader. Six laps in, nine to go. Frazon. Oh, yellow comes out here for Devin Irvin. I oh, Jimmy Go. Jimmy Go out of turn number four. Might be a problem for Devin Irvin also as he's going to pull into the infield area. Here we go, coming out of turn number four. Underway. Street stocks here. Let's see if we can finish them with eight laps to go. So Frazon, Poe, Campbell, your top three. Frazon protecting that bottom line. See Ferris go way up to the top and turn four. Tries to get a run off of there. Watch out. Yellow on the front stretch. Jason Park goes around. Baseball Shane as he got up and out of the way there. Bring him down here into three and four. Green flag in the air. Just as Poe was getting a nose in on Frazon, that last caution came out. So let's see if he can do it again now. He seems to be able to get a little bit lower run then Frazon right now. Frazon, watch though for Clayton Campbell up top here. As these two catfish on the low side, Campbell goes up high along with Jerry Schmidt. So you just never know. Now Ferris gets up into the crumbles up there and loses several spots. 
Mark Carter gets by him. Carter moving back up through the field as well. He's going to work his way into the top five here. Back to your leaders coming out of turn number four. Four laps to go now. Four to go for your leaders. Frazon, let's see if he can hold off. Aaron Poe. So Frazon, Poe, Campbell, Schmidt, and now Mark Carter. There's your top five. Carter back from the tail of the field after that earlier incident. Campbell ever so slowly creeping up. I'm not sure he's going to have enough laps. There's two to go. But Campbell, watch on that top side. The 30 gets a good run out of turn number two. Closing the gap ever so slowly as Frazon and Poe down on this low side protecting. Campbell now joining them. Not sure he'll have enough laps with the white flag in the air. Aaron Poe, your leader. I'm sorry, Frazon, your leader. Aaron Poe, here comes Campbell. Will he be able to make a run on that top side? Don't think he will, no. So the 04 of Frazon gets his first CMS victory here this year. And then it's Aaron Poe, Campbell. Good run by the 11 X of Jerry Schmidt and the 10 of Mark Carter working his ba way back up through. Well, he's had some victories here before. As he gets some of that equipment off, Cody Frazon! All right, Cody. Gets a high five from the crew there. Come on up, Cody. Good run here tonight. Tell you what, holding off uh, Aaron there, I don't know if you saw him or not, I think on that that one restart, he got just a little bit below you, then the caution came out. So you, I'm sure you knew he was back there. Yeah, I seen his quarter, or I seen his front, right, right front quarter panel a couple times. I wasn't sure once I started getting good runs if he was staying there or not, but I knew on the couple of restarts there, he was right there. So, so congratulations, good run. I know you've had some other uh, feature wins this year, so congratulations on a good run here tonight. Yeah, man, I appreciate that a lot. It's been a long time since I've won a race here, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's awesome. All right, congratulations, Cody Frazon. Twenty five laps. Let's see how it sets up here tonight. Here we go. We've seen a high line, we've seen a low line. Let's see what the modifieds do with it. Right now it's Gunnar Martin as he slides up to the top. That opens the door for Carrick. Rick Beebe with a problem. He might have a issue up here on the top side. Rick Beebe, the rocket man. He's gonna need a push. So a problem on the front side as I saw. Something broke. Uh, lap in, 24 to go. Gunnar Martin brings him down. Carrick, Wyman, Pursley. Here comes the one. Look out, Matt Johnson. Three wide on the back stretch. Pursley slides up to the top at Martin, your leader. So Mark Carrick. Now Johnson Pursley, and now Wyman slips up to the top side. Says, hey, let's see what happens up here now. You can see some searching out there on the track as things are real slicking over. But you do have a cushion up there. You'll see Terry Schultz in the 90 car as he heads up to the top. Terry Schultz typically uses that high side. We'll see if he can move up through the field. Right, next to David Wood, but your leader, Johnson. Gunner Martin, I'm sorry. Gunner Martin, your leader with Johnson in third. Carrick in second. Personally on the low side. I see Johnny Wyman up there along with the 17 of Westerhold. But Gunner Martin 
Steady as she goes. Carrick now. He's made it happen down here on the low side this year. Matt Johnson up high. So back to your leader now. Let's check the times as they go this, this time across. Gunnar Martin as your leader with a 16-4. And Carrick with a 16-2. So he is closing in on your race leader, Martin. Martin trying to hap trying to make it work down low, but Carrick ever so slowly reeling him in. About two tenths faster. And you can see that on the track as well as he closes it down now, especially out on the hub and three and four now. Side by side, nose to tail now as they come down the front stretch. Martin and Carrick. Johnson, Pursley, Kirsten. Colson Kirk now, Chad Clancy, and here's Schultz now, Terry Schultz. So he's worked his way up through the field as well. But the race is up front in your top three. Little catfishing here on the low side. Carrick gets just a little bit lower. Johnson now says, well, that's not going to work. I'm going to go up high and see if I can make it work up there. Pursley, Kirk, Johnson, and now Schultz up to the high side as well. Gunnar Martin hanging on, though. Nose to tail. As Carrick waits to pounce on him. Oh, Carrick slides up, and now Johnson. As Carrick trying to find some speed on the track, doing a little bit of a diamond up to the High side and then dives down low, tries to get a little extra speed. Martineau hanging on so far. Just Carrick now gets a nose in on him in turn four. Martin hangs on. So Martin, Carrick, Johnson, Pursley, Colson Kirk, six goes to Clancy, Schultz, seventh, Blackburn. David Wood and then Kyle Westerhold in the top 10. Oh, and Alan Lawrence now pulls down in the infield in the 94. He pulls off. We stay clean and green. And now Gunnar Martin starting to pull away just ever so slowly as Carrick was right behind him there for several laps, maybe trying to cool the tires just a little bit. Now gets nose to tail with him again. Johnson gets... Or Martin gets a pretty good run out of two, lengthens out that lead, but then Kerr comes back. As you can see him searching around the track as now Schultz now gets another spot, gets by Clancy up to sixth. So Schultz from the tail of the field. Still Gunner Martin. Now let's see if he gets into this lap traffic. That is Johnny Wyman. Staying up on the top side. This will be seven to go once they complete this lap this time. And then it's Rodney Schweitzer in the 74 just in front of them. So let's see how they handle the lap traffic. This may make the difference if they stay green. Turn number four, Kyle Westerhold goes around just as we were going to get into lap traffic. Westerhold in the 17. Here we go into turn number four. Green flag in the air. So Martin trying to hold off the 1K of Carrick. Johnson does go up to the top. Here comes Gunnar Martin. Carrick now gets a nose in. Sometimes that all, that's all it takes, so Gunnar Martin cuts down. See Clancy going up to the top side now, gains that spot back around Schultz. This will be five to go this time. Here comes the 1K of Tim Carrick. Carrick, but Martin just holds him off. Carrick again with a nose in out of turn number two now. So Martin, Carrick, good battle up front. Meanwhile, Johnson's going to go to the top, see if he can make it work up there. Martin still holds him off. Carrick did get a nose in on him. 
Still not able to work his way around. So Martin, Carrick trying to look for some speed on the track. Matt Johnson on a top side right into the back of Carrick that time. And oh, and now the 1K takes out the 75 of Martin. Let's see what the officials call on this one. Lee, Clancy, the 90th Schultz. Here we go. So, Carrick Johnson, your top two, Colson, Kirk, Persley, and now the 90 of Terry Schultz into that top five now. Just two to go. White flag will come out this time. Let's see if Carrick can hold off the one of Matt Johnson. Now Terry Schultz with a good run up on turn number two. As he comes into four, it's the 1K of Carrick, Johnson, Kirk. Whoa, I think Schultz. Snuck in there for fourth, he did. Terry Schultz snuck in there for fourth. Pursley, Clancy, Blackburn, Wood, Gunner Martin, and Kyle Westerhold. Dr. McCarthy Auto Group, Dennis Miller Engines. As he gets out of the car, Tim Carrick. Your winner here tonight. Clint racing I know you didn't mean to do it it's tight race well you know there but never happened yeah all right tim all right congrats congrats on your win tonight yeah it bums me out i mean after I got under Gunner, Gunner started really slowing down in the corners, and if he had kept going like he was, it wouldn't have happened. But when he stopped and his car was drifting out, he but stopped and I got into him. I, I damn sure didn't mean to. So, uh, I mean, hell, if I'd have done it, I'd have, we would have been side by here. So, yeah. I mean, it's like you don't expect the guy in front of you to, to, to slow down. Well, yeah, and it just happened. It's a racing deal. Unfortunately, it's no good for him. Uh, it sucks. I mean... I mean, it bummed me out, so. All right, well, congratulations tonight. The 1K, Tim Carrick. Again, on behalf of Earl and Susan Walls, we thank you for joining us for your dirt of choice here on Saturday night at Central Missouri Speedway. Have a safe drive home tonight. Be careful. And hope to see you back here next weekend. Again, for racing, same time, same channel. God's blessings to all of you, and have a good night.